Welcome back, YouTube family. We got Shane Gillis. First time he's going to be on the channel for us today. And the reason why is because, first of all, you guys had recommended him in the comments. You guys always have great recommendations. Thank you so much. All you subscribers are all fire. Wouldn't be where we are today without you. So thank you. But I forgot about Shane Gillis, to be honest. I think he was recommended on one of our older videos. Oh. And... Um, so I had seen the name, right? But then he was on Joe Rogan's podcast recently. Okay. So I think he's buddies with Joe Rogan. Anyways. So it sparked the memory. In yes. Like, and it was like a little clip that I watched and um, he was funny. And I was like, who is this guy? And then it was Shane Gillis. So I was like, oh, yeah, we need to check out Shane Gillis. So now we've arrived. I don't know what to expect with this one. I just tried to find a clip on here that wasn't too, too long. He doesn't seem to have a ton of, of material up on YouTube thus far, but you know, sometimes it's just hard to find. So you guys can let us know if there's other Shane Gillis yeah, that you'd like us to check out. Just links. yeah, leave a link in those comments that you leave for us. It really does help. Um, or specifically what the type the title might be. But anyways, you ready to check out some Shane Gillis? I am. Let's do it. Special Olympics. Let's go. <laughs> My roommate, his girlfriend played college volleyball. So I'm very excited to like shit on volleyball whenever I can. <laughs> so I get in there and I was like, yo, volleyball is fucking, that's a weird culture. Get them fucking shorts. Get them gym shorts. Dude. The shorts they're wearing is gross. And she was like, no, we need those shorts for speed <laughs> on the court. And I was like, uh, I, I know that's not true. I watch the NBA. <laughs> None of you are moving as fast as like a ref. <laughs> and those guys are wearing like slacks dress shoes for some reason <laughs> she was like no we need those shorts the tight shorts they're essential she compared them to like a helmet in football i was like i know they're not essential because i googled the uh the special olympics volleyball team <laughs> all, the, all of a sudden those shorts weren't so essential for them <laughs> what's that about how baggy do you think they're? They look like the fucking N1 mixtape out there. <laughs> <laughs> Offensively baggy is how I would describe all of their attires. <laughs> We're all adults. We we can this. We all agree the Special Olympics is a good. It's a good program. I just. It's great. I just feel like the guy who came up with it had to be like a real risk taker. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's a wild thing to suggest for the first time. Some guy in a board meeting, like, I got an idea. <laughs> we should be racing these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> like, what'd you say? Like, fucking uh, town over said they had the fastest ones. <laughs> so we settle it, you know? Uh. I'm not making fun of the Olympians. The concept is wild. <laughs> it's a while. Like, if your best friend invented the Special Olympics and told you about it first, you'd be like, don't ever tell anybody that. <laughs> Who the fuck were you going to tell that to? What are you doing? <laughs> Pole vault? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I would, I admittedly thought the same thing. Like, whoever came up with this idea. The Special Olympics. Yeah. I was, I was, I've thought about that. I've been like, literally. Whoever thought of that? Like, how did you come up with that idea? Literally, and like, uh, not thinking that that was potentially dangerous. I think Arnold Schwarzenegger played a role in that. Did he? In, in starting coming up with the Special Olympics. Wow. And I mean, he's kind of a risk taker, so. That's fair. But I'm, I know I'm glad they did do it, but I totally, like I said, thought the same thing. I, yeah. <laughs> it's just so, so like, ironic. Who that went he, out on the limb to put that idea out there? Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, personally, I actually volunteered and coached with the Special Olympics for a little while. So, you know, what'd you guys do? <laughs> no, don't clap. Please. I did it for those kids. <laughs> no, I don't mean, get it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I look like this, so... Me coaching the Special Olympics. I was like a fucking double agent. <laughs> no one knew whose side I was on, dude. Player, chaperone, no one knew. 
I'd be standing there coaching, holding a clipboard with five dudes that looked exactly like me. <laughs> I could always see the coaches from the other team looking over like, I think they got, I think they're fucking letting one of them coach. <laughs> yeah. No, I did coach the Special Olympics for a little while, and it's fun. That's another thing you're allowed to talk about. It's happy. Everyone there is sportsmanship. It's, it is funny. Don't let anyone tell you it's not funny, dude. I was there. It, it, everyone there is laughing. It's fun. I coach basketball. Kids would catch the ball, just fucking, <laughs> just fucking launch it into the bleachers. People would be like, what the fuck are you doing out there? They're like, I don't know. <laughs> it's fucking... My whole team ruled. Every, every dude on my team was the, they were the funniest. They fucking, they were bros. They were bros, dude. My whole team loved two things. They loved tits. They do. I don't know if you know these guys, dude. They fucking love the ladies. They love the ladies. And they love John Cena. That's it. That was the news every day. We'd be in the huddle. There'd be like a lot of ladies here tonight. It was like, ooh, yeah. Tony. Tony, that's what I was just just gonna. I, I, when you looked at me, I wasn't on the same page. But then you looked at me, I was like, wait a second, what about Tony? Tony, he, used to do he that loves all the time. John Cena, and he loves the ladies. Yeah, so so that was Tony is somebody we used to work with. Yes. but we both worked with, and um, he had a very vibrant personality. Always he loved to have sweetest. fun. He brought me fruit gifts. Had a all big the time. crush on on Sam. Yeah, <laughs> yeah who doesn't? Right, and. Um, and uh, our coworkers used to actually rib us about that a little bit as yeah. well, because Tony would be like, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Sam out for a date," and so like other <laughs> like, I'm people, steal her. yeah, and then people would come up to me and be like, "Tony's coming for Sam, Phil." <laughs> He'd always be like, "Where's your boyfriend? Where is he?" <laughs> anyway, so uh, he's like I said, great character, and uh, he would always. Um, on on the floor of the gym that we were working at, he would always like you know mess around with people and be like, "You can't see me," yeah. <laughs> and do the John Cena impression. Yeah, he had a t-shirt, a couple t-shirts. Too. Yes, John he did Cena too. Yeah. yeah. Um. So. Uh, but he's also always hitting on all the ladies. Yes. All the ladies. <laughs> So, this is so, exactly. so Shane is right on point with this one. Yeah, this brought back it. some memories for sure. <laughs> on Cena. That's it. That was the news every day. We'd be in the huddle. They'd be like, a lot of ladies here tonight. It was like, ooh, yeah. They'd be like, what do you think John Cena's up to? <laughs> oh, you're going to have to get way worse before you meet him. <laughs> Cena, John Cena's like the angel of death for those guys. I don't... <laughs> I told my guys, I was like, you see Cena coming, you get the fuck out of there. <laughs> He's taking souls with him. <laughs> Every year, Hooters would sponsor our one basketball tournament. All right, so every year Hooters would bring like three or four waitresses and they would present like a big cardboard check donation to the Special Olympics. As soon as the girls entered the gym, the game changed <laughs> entirely, dude. It went from like hugs and sportsmanship to just like dudes got competitive, like very competitive. <laughs> Fucking ripping down rebounds. Just hitting layups. And, <laughs> 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 and then at the end of the game, there'd be a hug line, you know between the waitresses and the players. And yeah, that went about exactly, exactly how you would imagine that went. We had to break out the fucking jaws of life, dude. My boys, my boys are ragdolling those young sluts. <laughs> and I'm not knocking the, the, the players. They were totally in the right. The girls were hot. The waitresses, like every year, I would sneak into the hug line myself. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you guys very much. <laughs> oh, Shane Gillis is hilarious. <laughs> Sneak into the hog <laughs> line. Like, oh, my God. Did you enjoy Shane Gillis? Yeah, that was good. Yeah? Yeah. 
Well, I uh, I enjoyed it myself. So you guys are gonna have to hit those comments and let yeah, us know us about another. I got had some tears coming out. So <laughs> you know, you know, it's good when. Um, yeah. So let us know if you enjoyed it as well. Uh, if you can relate to anything that he was saying, we always like your insights. And um, if you haven't subscribed, we got lots of comedy on the channel, yes. guys. We got uh, I think you know over sixty videos at this point. So we got comedy, music, and sports. This is the place to be if you like that stuff. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and we'll be back with another one tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.